here's a real quick and easy knob for your sort of electronic uh, interface oscilloscope uh, computer something like that okay so here in blender shift a mesh circle choose 14 vertices press 7 to look down from the top and press tab to go into edit mode with all of those vertices selected choose checker deselect and leave the values at 1 S to scale and pull those in A to select everything 1 to look from the front E to extrude and come up something like that Okay. press E to extrude S to scale in pull it in like this right click choose loop to circle scale in a bit more and then let's do another one E and S just to add a bit of support there E and extrude down a little ways that's good enough like that all right control 2 to add two subdivisions and shade smooth and let's bring an edge loop up near the top relatively tight all right let's leave that for the moment let's come down to the bottom in two edge selection shift alt and click there press E and S and pull out just a little bit right click loop tools circle again pull that out E and extrude down now bring another edge loop down relatively tight once again shift alt and click the bottom edge E and S pull in and we're gonna make the like little post that connects to whatever your equipment is E extrude down a bit bring an edge loop in here and one out here and I'll bring an edge loop up to here to tighten that up make it a bit sharper on this piece here I'm going to roll my mouse up with edge loops twice like that Control B to split and have just two edges for each region E and Alt S and push out push pull down I guess to sort of simulate some thread on there up at the top let's shift and alt and click that edge to select it shift D to duplicate it pull it up P to break it out go back into object mode and then select that go in select it all F to make a face E to extrude and pull it down and then delete that bottom face press 3 and select there I to inset go back into object mode and shade smooth now you probably have to flip these let's actually add the cavity shader I'll add shadow and add a matte cap I'm going to pull that down in. Now I get some weird discoloration, so I'm going to select everything, go into edit mode, Alt N, recalculate outside. And I'm also going to come over here, choose both, and knock these out. Okay. I'm going to look down from the top, selecting this piece, go into edit mode select that face I'd inset create a circle and pull it up to about there like that I'd inset again pull it in extrude it down a ways I'd inset one more time and there is our knob just like that ready to be attached to your another object whatever it might be statistics it's certainly not low poly but uh, it looks relatively nice if you want to you could sharpen these edges up a little bit you can select this edge and control click that one and you can go all the way around
and with all of those selected, you could press Shift E and pull to sharpen those up. Pull them out a bit. If you wanted a slightly sharper look right there. You can decide if you want another edge loop up there that might tighten that up a little bit. Give you a more pleasing result. But that's what I come up with for a very quick knob 